Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. Gonna do one cast today. It's uh, Saturday, the 15th of January, and I'm back in the same place I was yesterday. Um, got the place to myself. There's one boat that just went through, and they're still fishing down there, and there's one above me, and there's a bunch, quite a few, uh, quite a few boats at the mouth of Fall Creek. Uh, looks like Trout Hollow had a big group in and a bunch of guys in pontoons having a good time. It's not that bad out here. It's uh, it's maybe right at 32 degrees. Um, it's been snowing here most of the morning. It's starting to stick a little bit on the ground, but not on the, not on the pavement yet. Um, it's supposed to snow all day, but I don't think it's going to accumulate much and it's supposed to get warm tomorrow. So. But the water ran a little bit this morning, I think. It was scheduled to. And it's back down, and it's actually quite a bit lower than it was yesterday. Um, the <coughs> gravel bars, the shoal here is, is out of the water. You can, you can see there. And this is kind of the normal level. They run a lot of water. It takes quite a while for that level to get down here because it takes a while to drain out. I've got a little cardboard piece uh, just above my GoPro so I can shield it from the snow and you won't get spots on the on the camera lens. <clears throat> There's a fairly good uh, little current going through here right now, going down which is good. Um, I've got a number 14 black zebra midge on. 7X Cortland premium line. I'm going to set the float pretty shallow because I'm going to start in close where the water's maybe a foot deep and then kind of work my way out. I don't see really any big fish working but like I said, the water's probably a foot uh, down from what it was when I was here yesterday. I did fish a while after the camera was off, and I caught three or four really nice rainbows, not as big as that 19-inch, but some really nice fish. It's sure a lot of fun. I'm gonna get out there just a little ways. I can't really tell what the depth of water is out there. I think it's pretty shallow, so I'm gonna have to get out there. Okay, I just had a little touch. And a fish. He kinda touched it first, and he took it. I'm not gonna, not gonna complain about the size. Another one of those male rainbows that we talked about yesterday. This dark fish. Got a little hook jaw, but not too much. Really, really pretty. Look at all the spots on that fish. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit, so I'm fishing pretty close to the camera. First cast, I got a fish. That's cool. <coughs> so I just want this to be a dead drift. I don't really have to work at any with this with this current. 
and mend that line to where I can get the the longest drift without without my fly line or my line actually oh he just touched it without dragging I don't want that float and the fly I want it drifting down with the current I don't want it uh, drug or moved and I do have to move it some when I mend if you're real good at it you don't you don't move your float much but it's really good to uh, have your fly line dressed really well so it floats on top And that is the Titanic, way down on the strip. And it is 12 noon. They blow it, I think they blow it to get it. One o'clock, not sure. Titanic, that's a um, attraction on the strip. I think I need to go out a little further. There we go. I'm going to wait out just a little further too. That coon dog was running Tuesday or Monday when we were fishing up here. Making a bunch of racket. Yeah, I think I'm I'm really I'm out in some good water now. I was uh in a little bit too close there. For a little bit. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, a little bigger fish.
I really should be carrying a net. Got a net boat. Boat's a little far away. If I get a real big one, I'll go get the net. I do like fishing in snow. Most of the time fishing's good. He's about 17, I'd say. <coughs> Come on. Come on. <sighs> Might be 17 and a half. You almost always hook these fish right in the roof of the mouth. <clears throat> Now, I'm not fishing out in the channel. I'm still fishing in probably less than two foot of water out there. Oh, way down at the very end of the drift. The line just about straightened out. I was about ready to recast. I don't think he's as big as the last one. He's pulling good. Old Jackson sitting in the boat. I didn't want him getting out in the water because he I didn't want to get him 
but he's still sitting there with his ears perked up like, can I come in? Can I come in? Hey, Jack, come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he didn't want to step out of the boat. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Beautiful rainbow. Come on. Come on, Jack. I'm not going to help you out. I helped him out last yesterday because it was deep. He can get out. Come on. All right. Stay there. Fingertips are getting cold. a little one but not quite as far down the drift must be a little drop off or something right there where they're sitting It's kind of ruining the peaceful effect out of here. Just got him by the skin. The further out I go, the better I'm doing. I don't want to get out there too far. If I get out too far, I'll be in deeper water. I need to drop my mids a little bit.
I'd be tempted to drag a scud through here, but I mean, they're hitting this midge so well, I'm not real sure if I need to. I've already proven that big fish will eat this little midge. Which is pretty amazing. I'm gonna try. I'm trying to get out of here to see the bottom, and I, I'm kind of losing track. <clears throat> the bottom is right out there, so I think it's getting a little deep out there. So I'm gonna drop this down a little ways. I'm moving about nine inches or so to about almost 20. If I start dragging the bottom, then I'll move it back up. I'm not, I'm not dragging the bottom. Oop. I about wasn't ready for that. Sometimes those fish are, you know, they're down closer to the bottom and and you float a midge over their heads, they might, they have a more of an opportunity to just let it go, but if you put it down a little closer in their face, and sometimes they got to move, or refuse it, or take it, so that's why you want to kind of play around with the depth of your flag, especially if it slows down. These smaller or medium sized fish, I don't put them on the reel, but if it, it was a bigger fish, I'd reel all this in and what we call put the line on the reel and let the reel be the drag instead of my fingers because your fingers will tend to stick and a bigger fish has a lot more power and can snap the line Good fish, boy he is. He's got a belly. Oh, yeah, that's why. It's a female and she is dropping eggs. Dropping eggs as I hold her up. <clears throat> now these fish, especially in the lake, they do not, their eggs and their, their, what would you call it? Their attempt to spawn uh, 
is, a, is futile. Just not the right conditions. Now they, they do go up in the feeder streams and I think, see we have rainbows that spawn in the winter and some in the spring. And the ones that are up in the creeks, that might have been the bottom. Uh, the ones in the creeks, in the winter time, I think the water's too cold. But they're up there trying to spawn. And then uh, the ones in the spring that go up in the creeks, I think they have a lot better chance of spawning successfully because the water temp's a lot more conducive. Kind of had this conversation with our fishery biologist Shane Bush. There's one that just turned right there. Saw him flash. Go back over him. Well, this is nice. This is sure. It's not that cold out, there's no wind. Those gulls are back there. We got seagulls that spend the winter here. They're back there in that shallow water. Making a bunch of noise. Huh. Well, let's see, what else? boats at three boats up there touched it He didn't come back though. It's just like they, they just bump it with their nose. channel now. <clears throat> but the channel's only going to be about four foot deep.
touched it. I might be hitting a little high spot right there too. Let's just look at my meds just to make sure. If I drag bottom and pick up any moss at all or algae, those fish are not going to touch this. Yeah, I'm good. Touch that. You gotta go over here. I thought I did. Oh yeah. Why? Huh? Why? Yeah, you'll stir up the, the gravel. Well, I know. <laughs> it makes fishing better. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you doing it again? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Good. How about you? Good. Beautiful. Oh, I know. Yep. See, watch. I'm going to throw right in behind where he just went. <laughs> it's like chumming. Those fish are... <clears throat> they're... I don't want to say trained, but they know when a boat goes by. They know what that boat does. <laughs> Of course, it's not going to work. It's just like if you're wading up below the dam and you got a little bit of current when you're walking like this. Like, I'm surprised I don't have trout down below me eating bugs that I'm kicking up with the gravel just by moving my feet. Yeah, I, I certainly don't mind people going by me. <clears throat> it's the guys that go fast and close and it's kind of dangerous. But as far as messing up the fishing, I didn't mess up fishing at all. End on a little one. But I'm going to keep fishing. I'll turn the, I'll keep the um, camera on in case I hook a big one. Might even put a scud on. Work a little different area. Thanks for watching. Um, I think you'll like this episode, even if, if you don't catch fish or not. I mean, the dogs quit barking, so that's awesome. See you tomorrow.